Today's video is going to be a little different than anything we've ever done before. We're talking best suburbs in the Twin Cities. It's super general. It basically, this was just kind of a fun video that we could make where we're talking through different price ranges. If we had a budget of 350K, here's what we'd buy. If we had a budget 350 to six, here's what we'd buy and so forth. We'll talk through all that in a little bit. Best suburbs in the Twin Cities, kind of opinion-y based. Let's get it. Okay, how's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. This is the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called To The Twin Cities. You can check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in the Twin Cities, whether you're moving here from across the state, a different state, across the country, a totally different country, or if you're just buying a house for the first time. So first time home buyers and relocations, that's what we do. It's what we do better than anybody else. If either of those two things appeal to you, do yourself a favor, do us both a favor. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, say what's up to these dudes in the comments. We would appreciate it very, very much. And if you're thinking about moving here to the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. You can call or text the number on the screen. You can email us at info at to the Twin Cities. Dot com. You can hit us up on Instagram at to the Twin Cities dot com or go to our website to the Twin Cities dot com. We have a contact form there. Super slick. Probably the easiest way to get a hold of us to the Twin Cities dot com. Check out the contact form. Anyways, without any further ado, this video we're talking best suburbs according to us in the Twin Cities in a bunch of different price ranges. I'm going to kind of lay out the ground rules. Basically, I gave everybody an assignment of five price ranges if you could buy in any suburb specifically we, we strictly couldn't say anything in minneapolis or st paul proper it had to be a suburb and we all had to have different suburbs none of them could be repeating so there's a little bit of room for error there maybe some people would have both chose a certain suburb but the rule was once somebody picked a suburb that suburb is gone and so you know whoever did it last mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, you know, had a harder time because all of the suburbs were gone. So uh, maybe not all of them, but a bunch of the sort of go-to suburbs were gone. So it was a little slimmer pickings. But, and we just wanted to sort of highlight as many of the suburbs that, you know, that we might be looking at as possible to sort of give you a bunch of options to consider. Um, and obviously there's a ton of stuff that isn't covered in this. This is very much just if we had this budget, here's where we would buy, not based on any, you know, I don't know protected classes or anything. It's just if I had this much money, here's where I would buy. We found specific houses on the MLS. They didn't have to be active because this video, by the time this video goes live, the active houses might not be active. So we're just going to kind of go like round robin. We're going to dive into the uh, actual listings in the MLS. And we're going to talk through, okay, for example, we have the five categories, sub $350,000, $350,000 to $600,000, $600,000 to $1 million. Uh, if you had to buy a new build, where would you buy it? And then just for fun, dream spot, if you had no budget or all the budget, I guess, all the budget, where, where would you go? So just to sort of, ex, you know, show what's going on, we're going to dive into my first one, which is the sub $350,000 range. And I chose a house in Bloomington. So let's take a look at that. Here we have a three bed, two bath, two stall car garage, about 2000 square feet. It's in Bloomington, kind of on the Eastern side of Bloomington. I'm a big fan of Bloomington. I think there's really good value. I think this house is a really good example of what Bloomington has too. Like some like the better, like nicer stock in that lower range in Bloomington, $315,000. It might've gone into multiple, so it might be a little higher than that, but you're going to find these like ranches all over the place in Bloomington, you know, nice hardwood floors, nice, you know, uh, bright uh, spaces a lot of time. And there's some stuff that I don't, I don't know that I'm super into stylistically, um, but 
it's all there. The bones in these houses are really good. There are a lot of like 40s, 50s, 60s built houses. I'm a fan of Bloomington. I helped somebody buy a place for like 300K that just I thought was just like the perfect kind of starter home. And that's kind of why I chose Bloomington. So, yeah. For sub 350, the home I chose was a New Hope. I think New Hope has a lot of uh, small Rambler style homes, but they're really cute. And at that price range, uh, I think uh, there are, a lot of them are in great shape and there's a lot you can do with them in terms of updates. Some of them might be a little bit dated, but all of them have good bones. And I don't know, I think New Hope is a nice little pocket west of the cities and there's good schools over there too. Yeah, I think this is like a pretty good example of, you know, like the housing stock in New Hope. You get a lot of Ramblers, a lot of these unfinished basements yeah. with like paneled ceilings. A lot of them are pillbox shaped, but I don't know. I think if uh, you put some work into it and if they're well taken care of, yeah, like I would completely paint this bathroom, probably actually put a, a shower door in there. But uh, yeah, there's, there's stuff you can do with it. And for the most part, they're in great shape. Maybe not that room, but. And you're not paying the <laughs> premium for like the Plymouth. Exactly. Yeah. But you're still it's west of the cities. You're in a nice little pocket and uh, the homes are for the most part very yeah. well kept. Yeah. And this is a four bed, two bath, one car garage, 331,000. Um, yeah. I think a lot of room to make this place nicer and yeah. 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 And a lot of people look for, they want a decent sized yard and there's, you know, decent sized yards over in new hope and that kind of area, especially mm -hmm. a lot of them are fenced in super convenient to, uh, like the metro area too. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, not about a quarter of an acre there. Yeah. Absolutely. Dog yeah. yard. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Okay. So for mine, uh, sub for 350, I was looking in crystal. Crystal is a suburb that's very close to Minneapolis. That was part of the reason that I wanted to look there, uh, proximity to the cities. You're sensing a theme with the style of houses that we picked. That's a lot of, you know, like the entry level homes are these, you know, 50s, 60s Ramblers that have been updated in a lot of cases. This one fits the bill totally. Uh, got a one car garage tuck under. Otherwise, it's a four bed, two bath, um, you know, right around 1300 square feet. I mean, you can tell it's been updated. I mean, that really, really nice curb appeal there. Uh, entryway looks great. I mean, it's really that like kind of like little closet area with the coat rack yeah something that you'd see in like new construction or at least like something similar like that that yeah. they've kind of added to this home redone floors like the room. yeah totally super nice i love these like cove ceilings that mm -hmm. you know that these 50s houses have staple yeah, original, 50s homes for plaster, sure probably yeah but yeah just really nice job with the updates of this one i mean this one is kind of pushing the limits of that 350 but you can kind of tell what you're getting with you know almost every room has been updated in this house so yeah a lot of character, but you know, I mean, it's on the smaller side, obviously, but you're close to the cities and um, yeah, just a really nice entry level home. I think Crystal is a, is a good spot. We talked about in the up and comers video, basically yep. where you houses. can get a pretty good house for like under 300, 250, you know, you might be able to find something livable in Crystal. But and then, you can yeah. make it look like this. Yeah, exactly. And if you want to push it and make it like this, then yeah, Crystal's a really good spot for that. Totally. Also, they got the new light rail line going uh, that direction. So. Yeah. And yeah, to reiterate, look our, at this yard. Mm. Nice yard. And to reiterate, it's our belief that these houses are some of the most well-built houses mm -hmm. yeah. there are. And you can yeah. put a lot of value into it too if they're not completely updated. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right, so for my choice, we are going to the south, southeast burbs. This is a little bit further out than some of the guys have been choosing for sub 350. This is listed at 339, I believe. A little bit newer than some of the kind of the post-war era uh, homes we've been talking about. You've got just shy of 1,900 square feet here, 2001 built, so a little bit newer. You've got the attached three-car garage, uh, which is definitely something you'll see in like a newer built home. Um, four beds, two baths, if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, jumping into some of the photos here, definitely a little bit more of a modern look. Big yards, huge yard. Well, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get that in Farmington. Yeah, you know, totally. and it's a little bit more of a drive, but if you're looking for a little bit larger of a home, a larger of a lot, um, this is going to be kind of right up your alley. Yeah. And this one just needs a little bit of cosmetic, but at 339, I mean, yeah. you're not really going to get more house in this newer, no. closer in. Yeah. You can find it, but it's going really to be closer in, though. Yeah. more of a challenge. And when you get out a little bit further in these areas, uh, you're going to find yourself probably in multiples less often. Yeah, um, it's still a thing, but I would say one place that to consider if you're not into the southern metro, we just did a, a Champlin. Tour. Champlin. I would say Champlin is kind of the northern suburbs. I was kind of between these two because I've done business in both of these yeah. suburbs. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you get a lot of house. So if 
if proximity to the city is the big thing, Champlain and uh, Farmington are super good. And super it's still good not place. that bad. I mean, you're talking 25 minutes outside the city, 30 maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Huge Into yard. it. Dang. Huge yard. Big old yard. Parks nearby. You'll get that a little bit out here. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Sweet. Okay. You get it? That's fun. <laughs> it's okay. Fun. So let's just continue on with your next pick, and which is the price range of 350K to 600K, which I would say is where the bulk of the housing stock in the Twin Cities is. Totally. A huge mm-hmm. majority is going to be right in that range. Yep. And uh, yeah, what did you choose? All right. So we have this one here in Woodbury, which is going to be the eastern side of the metro. This one's at 575, uh, which is kind of towards the top end. But as you can see, it's actually been sitting on the market for quite a while. So at any rate... Four bed, three bath, three car attached here, built in 2004. So again, a little bit more of a new housing stock in this area of the metro, I'd say, uh, for the most part. Uh, 0.3 acres there, so large lots again. Uh, We'll just jump into some of the photos here. I think this is pretty characteristic of Woodbury. Plenty of house here. Might need a little bit of updating if uh, the decor is not to to your taste, but vaulted ceilings, great living spaces, and again with the yard. Yeah. Like you could easily spend 800K in Woodbury and get an awesome place. Right? Definitely. Six, under, sub 600, you can find they're going to be big. You get these like McMansions, for lack of a better word. And they are doing a lot of building out there in Woodbury. Yeah, there's a lot of new A lot stuff. of existing construction like these early 2000s. And now you've got some homes the size being built as well. But that's going to be beyond yeah. the 600K price range. Really good schools in Woodbury. Really good schools. I mean, yeah, some some of the best. Um, ton. I mean, all the all of the commercial all of the suburban commercial <laughs> amenities. One Red Lobster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. Suburbia. Um, yeah, it's really got everything. Suburban amenities aplenty yeah. in Woodbury. And big big yards. Yeah. Uh, all of these, commu- every community in Woodbury, it seems like has a, has a sign, a placard that says you're now entering the blah, blah, blah woods or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> super nice neighborhoods. And uh, yeah, big houses. A lot of these, like just, just monsters. You know, 3,500 is probably like on the small side. I Seriously. Like. Yeah. Y'all get the idea. Okay. Yeah. Nice houses. Yeah. Needs a little bit of updating, like we were saying. Like original. Yeah. You know, it's original. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's built in 05, 04, 05. This same house, new construction now is probably going to put you in the 800s. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Or you're going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Farmington. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, so I chose for my step up, which was is that 350 to 600 range. Eden Prairie, kind of very, very similar to Woodbury in the sense that it's just like a classic suburb. I'm a child of the suburbs. I felt like I needed to pick one that was just kind of like, you know, one of the hallmarks. Uh, so Eden Prairie it is. Um, but yeah, similar to Woodbury in the sense of like, yeah, all of the commercial stuff is there. Great schools, really highly rated. Yeah, getting into the house, uh, it's built in 78. I mean, just a ton of character in this specific house. Kind of what I'm looking for when I look uh, just kind of around at the MLS. But I've been eyeballing this house. It's sick. Super unique. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, the one that Nick picked is a little bit more like suburb standard. But yeah, this... I mean, this definitely would need a little bit of work, a little bit of updating just to make it, you know, um, a little bit more livable. But I think it's got some really, really cool character, really cool features. Uh, and yeah, Eden Prairie, I picked that for the location specifically, but the There's house is pretty sick itself. Always a premium on these mid-century homes too. Yeah. Just because the architecture is like so limited. And so, yeah, so difficult to get the same thing now. All these materials. There's only so expensive. many of them too that yeah. are existing. For and, sure. And we were saying that we kind of think Eden Prairie is uh, the like Western suburb equivalent of Woodbury. It's very suburban, mm-hmm. but there are these really cool pockets of like wooded areas. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. yeah, really, just really, really nice. Parquet floors are cool. This house definitely needs a bit of love. For sure. But yeah. it is but it is Some super, landscaping. super cool. Ton of potential. I would love to just have 450 for this one. So it's not, you're not really like killing yourself in terms of budget. Yeah. But um yeah. It, certainly for Eden Prairie too. Totally. 450 is kind of on the low look at, end. Look at that's that. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna cost a lot to fix, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, someone that loves mid-century is gonna come in and put the hundred in it needs, yeah. and it'll just be spectacular. Yeah, yeah. it'll be beautiful. Cool. Okay, so for my 350 to 600 price range home, uh, this one is located out in Maple Grove. And I love Maple Grove because uh, one, it's an awesome suburb, but two, it also has great schools and just it's uh, so much, so many different things you can do out there. Uh, It's also very close to the city. So this home is a five bed, three bath uh, with 3,500 square feet. So it's 
a lot. Just a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's, it's kind of a shack. No, okay. Um, so yeah, I just, I like homes that aren't necessarily in a builder development type neighborhood. And there's definitely a lot of those out there. I know there's a lot in Woodbury and probably in Eden Prairie, but if you can find a neighborhood that uh, still has a great home, but it isn't necessarily, I guess, Builder special, yeah, and like kind of cookie cutter, cutter copy, a little more custom feeling. Uh, it just has a lot, has a much homier feel to it, and so, uh, that's why I really liked this one. Obviously, the inside is it's beautiful, probably could use maybe a few touch ups and updating here and there, but it's in great shape and it's not in one of those cookie cutter neighborhoods. Yeah, you're gonna get like you know, with these neighborhoods and these prices, you're gonna get the cooler things like the vaulted ceilings, Mm -hmm. you know, and the the big old windows and the open concept a lot of the time. So. Right. It has a lot of character to it and it isn't, it's probably not as similar to some of the other homes in the neighborhood. For sure. And I think the, the three neighborhoods in this price range we've talked about so far are like the equivalent neighborhoods of different parts of the metro. Mm-hmm. Of Very mm-hmm. similar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Each other. Our four fans of, you know, Woodbury's and the kind of the, the east, the uh, kind of southeast, uh, Chanhassen, no. In Prairie. In Prairie. In Prairie. Eden Prairie is Maple in southwest, Grove. and then Maple Grove is northwest. Um, and we're trying to think of something that's the equivalent in the north or northeast. Not sure mm-hmm. there is one. Really. Maybe Coon Rapids. There's quite a bit of commercial up there. Yeah. Maybe Blaine. Coon, Ra- Coon, yeah, Coon Rapids. Rapids Blaine. This Blaine. one even had a theater in it. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Not Spicy. mad at the theater. Mm-mm. Dang. They have six... TVs. Dang. Well, I think it's a it's a render. But. Watch every episode of Squid Game at once. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate Red Zone. Six games of football. Dang, that's great. So, yeah, I don't know. Beautiful home, and uh, I love Maple Grove. I grew up kind of close Ooh, over there, time. so yeah. There's the the suburban feel is definitely there, but they have a Costco, they have a Guitar Center, and everything else you need. Hot dog, nice garage. All right, moving on. Next spot for the three fifty to six hundred range is in. Steve and I's hometown, which is where we grew up, Apple Valley, Minnesota. Great yes, spot. Sir. We have a virtual tour on it. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, we have a virtual tour on, on a lot of this stuff. So if this is the first video you're watching, what are you doing? Subscribe. Check out all these videos. I think I knocked it out of the park with this house. 465K. I bet it went into multiples and went for more than that, in fairness. That's just what guess. it was listed at. So let's say let's say low fives on this because it is sweet. We have a four bed, two bath, two car garage, about 2,000 square feet, 1.4 acres on a lake with a lake view. I will say uh, this is a, I'm not a big fan of that photography, but check this house out. This is so nice. All right. Great yard, kind of side yard, wooded area around a lake. Cool Ooh, fireplace. Mm. So cool. These hardwood floors. Would you say Deal this City? Brick. Uh, this could be Deal City right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. It's got that back deck. It's got the oak floors. Oh, this gorgeous. light. Dang. I wish I was in the market when this was on because this is a beautiful house. And Again, on a lake for even even around 500K is hard to find, yeah. mm-hmm. let alone in these suburbs, really good schools, all the commercial things that a person could ever need in Apple Valley, mm-hmm. uh, close to the Mall of America, whatever, all that stuff. Um, you know, I would say the one spot that it suffers a little bit is in the updated kitchen, but duh, give me a little bit of a budget and this house will be... I think that looks actually pretty nice. I mean, yeah, the cabinets are definitely old. They- they're yeah, always yeah. painted, but yeah. I like that. It's for mica and whatever. That tile. Yeah. That it, looks really I mean, nice. the windows, yeah. It's like, I, I could tolerate this for a very long time. Mm-hmm. It's just cool. It's got it the stands. double ovens, too, with the cooktop. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just super good house. This might be uh, my favorite house Ooh, I've seen in a hot minute. I like that. Yeah. Very cool. Lots of coffee and wine right. we had in that porch. Have we mentioned it's a home on a lake? Yeah. Yeah, have we mentioned it's on a lake? Dang, look at that owner suite. Is that what that was with the fireplace? Yeah, I think so. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. All right. Okay, my next one is in North Oaks. Uh, 935,000, five bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 3,200 square feet, 1.6 acres. And if I'm not mistaken, it's either on a lake or it has a lake view. Not mad about that at all. Big old driveway. Again, 1.6 acres. Modern farmhouse here. Yeah. Or like a redone farmhouse. farmhouse. Get the board and batten on the front. Yeah, totally. Not mad at that. You got that Viking double fridge. Whoa. That is a commercial grade fridge. Commercial. Yeah. 
If I have one goal, it's to have the biggest. Got the, <laughs> got the drawer microwave there too. Definitely an upgraded kitchen. Yeah, super super cool. Open we actually concepts. just helped some folks uh, buy a place in North Oaks. It was like a renovated house, uh, completely renovated, like Spanish, <sighs> beautiful house, like villa style. It was awesome. Yeah, one couple things to note: North Oaks is pretty much a private community. It is uh, private, but not gated. Yeah, not gated. You can drive in, but you might get pulled over, if and you just... will never see a virtual tour of it because yeah, they won't allow it. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do a virtual tour. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to get pulled. We'll take you there and drive in. You just got to buy a home first, yeah, <laughs> and then, uh, then we can do a virtual. Yeah, or, tour. or we, you know, we just have to look at an actual house, but. You know, it's, it's close to um, Shore View. It's close to Arden Hills. So you can watch those videos. You know that proximity-wise, it's going to feel kind of similar. It's a little more elevated, a little more expensive, well, quite a bit more expensive. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for, like, luxury homes in, like, the northern suburbs, North Oaks is a really good Custom place. Custom luxury. Yeah, everything's different. No two houses are alike in that community. Yeah, super big fan. Look at that. Get yeah. out of here. Get out of here. Look at that yard. And it's on lake. Let's go. I'm just seeing three dogs running around in that yard. Climbing wall? What is that? (laughs) (laughs) You can live like this? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice lake, too. That's no pond. Yeah. That's that's a usable lake. I am about it. Uh, Well and septic. Yeah. Okay. Last thing to note. Pretty much everything in North Oaks, as far as I know, everything I've seen, it's on well and septic. So just something to know. If that's a deal breaker, okay, don't look at uh, North Oaks, but... Uh, if you like North Oaks, then start to wrap your head around the idea that you're probably dealing well, well in septic. There and also is going to be a little of an HOA. So they're going to, it's cheap. Mm. It's like, you know, in the hundreds of dollars a year, I think. But they're going to control what you can do with the front of the house. Um, the, the house that we saw had that like Spanish style. It was front. like a Spanish villa. It was super exquisite. cool. And the people who renovated it were going to get rid of that whole front entryway, which is like what gave it like the Spanish feel. Mm-hmm. And the HOA was like, no. And so, it's a good thing they didn't because I think it really. Oh, it's so cool. So it was awesome. Anyways, enough ranting about a different house, but <laughs> this is a good spot. Uh, North Oak, super cool. Kind of like that like luxury, you know, luxury vibe. 935K. Um, but yeah, you can get into stuff. I think 750 or so was about what this other house was. Beautiful house, beautiful spot. What do you got, Alex? Okay, so for this range, I chose a home located in Prior Lake. This one is a four bed, three bath, uh, two car garage. It's a newer build, it's 2019. And uh, I know contrary to what I said before, this probably is in a little bit more of a cookie cutter neighborhood, but. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I thought it was a, a gorgeous home and probably like is a great area. I went down there this summer and it was a, it was a blast. So yeah. It was super fun. So anyway, though, you can tell uh, newer home, everything's going to be updated. Uh, it's moving ready, but I love the modern look of this home and prior lake as a whole, it's just a great area and it's got Great schools, obviously. Yeah, it does have super good schools. It is getting a little bit remote, like it's a start. You are you're a little edge. far out there, a little further southwest of the cities. It's definitely a, a bit more of a drive into the cities. I also really love this outdoor living area. It's got tons of windows with light coming in, and it's just I don't know, you don't really see this in a lot of homes. Really with cool the fireplace out there too. Yeah, that would be a four season porch, I would say. That's fair. Yeah. It's mm. completely insulated and heated. It would, it looked like, didn't it? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. But yeah, super cool. Super cool spot. Prior Lake, good schools. It's maybe like on the cusp of being like a full fledged suburb. You know, it's maybe not like as, uh, developed yeah there's not as much of like the suburban amenities as like some mm-hmm. of these other areas we talked about and you're getting about a tenth of the land there based on the stuff that's true 1.6 from, from acres yours and, and steve's picks yeah yeah in fairness 690k so on the lower end mm-hmm. it's on a like a marshy area they don't really show it in mm-hmm. the pictures um yeah a little bit more key cutter <laughs> and that one does have an association fee so it might have an amenity center You'll see that in some of the newer newer build communities as well. For sure. So yeah, we saw one up in Champlain the other day. For sure. Cool spot. What do you got, Steve? Okay, so we're in Golden Valley now uh, for my 600 to a million pick. I really like Golden Valley. It's close to the cities. I live in Northeast Minneapolis now, so I did kind of tend to lean towards um, suburbs that were kind of Minneapolis adjacent. So Golden Valley definitely fits the bill there. Theodore Worth Park, really cool area to just kind of walk around. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And golf, if you're into that, like Nick, um, but this house, <laughs> this house really got my eye. I mean, you're probably at this point sensing a theme with my picks. Um, I'm looking for something that's got a mid-century look that maybe needs a little bit of updating, but this just had such a cool look to it. I've never really seen anything quite like this in Minnesota. It's definitely got the Miami Vice vibe, but yeah, Absolutely. just really cool. Uh, pretty big three bed, three bath house. You know, I think this one was right around 800,000. So definitely going to need a little bit of updating, but just tons of character, huge window, you know, floor to ceiling windows, nice and bright. Everywhere. This home, super bright. Yeah. You know, Ooh. I, I mean, some people would call that dated. I think I kind of have, I kind of like the like nineties contemporary look personally. I know it's not for everyone, but I think it's got, you know, it's its own, you know, quality to it, but yeah, no golden Valley is cool. Uh, I would say. Suburb wise, I mean, it's proximity to the city for me. So, you know, yeah, super, super great as far as proximity to the city. And then uh, a good amount of like amenities and stuff. But you're so close to other things that it's not the end of the world. If, you know, may, I don't know if there's a target in Golden Valley, but whatever. There's one in St. Louis Park. You know, it's not super close far. to West End. Yeah, you, sure. you got a lot of stuff really nearby. And in general, I would say like. This is Golden Valley is one of the places if you are super into mid century, mm -hmm. Golden Valley is like the like one of the premier spots. San Luis Park, Golden yeah. Valley. Prop some of the best places that you can find it. So, a little bit like Eden Prairie, you know, like yeah, they, it's sprinkled in, but that's gonna be for sure. I would say the first place I would look would be Golden Valley if somebody was looking for mm -hmm. mid century. Totally. Look at that. That's cool. Not a huge yard, but it's got a real good look to it. Yeah. You don't need a yard when you uh have a house like that yeah it's exactly. enough for a dog run if you yeah. have a dog yeah sweet all right that's that's a cool choice um definitely distinct please don't come to us and be like hey you know that one that Steve <laughs> we're gonna have a really hard time finding this house is like, that a washer in the ever kitchen? again yeah it sure is interesting yeah <laughs> it sure you're damn right it is. <laughs> all right nick what do you got so we are in edina which, as far as I'm concerned, is the creme de la creme of first ring suburbs. Mm. I think many people would agree. But right. again, subjective. Uh, so here we have a three bed, three bath, 970,000. I'm going to go straight to the 0.46 acres, which is a lot in Edina. Yeah. That's actually a good amount of land for that price. Yeah. About 3,200 square foot, generous. You've got kind of like a sprawling rambler here with a walkout basement. Um, just going to jump into the photos here. And side note, Edina's got some of the best schools in the state as well. Yeah. Always top five. Always. Mm -hmm. Pretty much forever and ever. And kind of piggybacking off of uh, Golden Valley, which is a little bit to the north of 394, Edina's going to be just to the south, down 100. So you've got that proximity to the commercial amenities in West End. But then 50th in France, you're going to get that nice taste of mom and pop of the cities just to your east. Plus, so I mean, go further down France and you have like that, you know, the more... Uh, traditional suburban part of Edina, you mm -hmm. know, uh, yeah, just uh, Southdale. What's the what's the name of the other mall? Galleria, oh, the Galleria, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. just looking at the house, you can see the custom finishes, the front door, yeah, the beautifully cool. wooded lot. I mean, you're talking very established neighborhoods here, tons of character. Totally. This one's been uh, updated quite a bit. Beautiful floors, got some of those, uh, you know, stone accents. It's custom fake, kitchen it's fake staged for the record yes yeah. it is it is digitally staged but plenty of usable space in here yeah that great window space um that's a windowless basement right there it's funny that i said window but this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely kind of uh, an homage to the mid-century as well with some yeah. of the interior stuff and i would say yeah you can get some of that in edina not i don't it's not quite as like mid-century modern dense as like a golden valley or st louis park but yeah there is some of it look at that kitchen you mm -hmm. could also cool. uh, the, something i like about the likes of like an edina you can update till you're you know yeah. blue in the face you can do all the updates and it'll be able to support it. it the value will always be there unless you're doing super wacky stuff that nobody's interested in yeah, yeah always got to consider resale but yeah i mean yeah. Upgrading finishes, it's gonna, you're pretty much gonna at least break even just yeah. because it's so desirable. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. Edina Ooh, for me classic. is, Ooh, yeah. What's going on there? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What's up, 1950s? I'm into that pink. Okay. Uh, Edina, it's really all about location and schools as far as Edina is concerned. Like I said, creme de la creme. Yeah. For absolutely. first ring suburbs. One of the best. All right, we're gonna hop over to the next seg uh, section, which is new build. We didn't put a price limit on it, but we also didn't try to go like two buck wild with it. Um, <laughs> Well, Some of them are a little bubble. Well, well, this one's probably a little. Um, <laughs> this is going to be the upper echelon. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, just kind of like, hey, here's, you know, if I was buying a new build, you know, here's a place to look. And we can, we'll, we'll elaborate a little bit on price too. But yeah, totally. What do you got, Nick? 
So we are jogging down to Lakeville, Southern Metro. Um, your median home price is definitely going to be higher down here, doing a lot of building. Um, just some stats on the house. It's a million bucks. You've got 5,300 square feet, a uh, quarter of an acre. So good lot size, at least. You're getting some for your money there. Um, jumping right into the photos, support court. So, you know, mm -hmm. kind of see where we're at there. So this is not a custom home per se, but you can just tell from the finishes as we go throughout the photos, just higher end everywhere, hardware, molding, Absolutely. Um, the Super woodwork. Nice. Wide open. Yeah, definitely suited for the modern lifestyle uh, with your living room right off the kitchen. You've got full dining there. Super nice. Really nice finishes. Obviously, a house that has a sport court is going to be a, <laughs> a bit expensive. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and so this is this is in that like definitely the upper echelon of Lakeville. You, there are new builds in Lakeville for, I don't know, on the low end, maybe 600000 um, Yeah. And you're you talking know. maybe for like a three bed, two bath. Yeah, or or just like a a more modest finished house. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, my buddy lives in Lakeville. Uh, has a new build. It's maybe like two years old now. Um, probably right around that six hundred k range is what it's worth now. Um, and yeah, super super nice neighborhoods, but they're going to be a little a uh, little tracty. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit uh, cookie cutter. But... And you're going to see a lot more of this, at least in the, the non slab homes, the ones that have excavated basements very very functional yeah lower level living yeah so you're gonna have like much more usable square footage yeah gonna love a walkout basement these in, are uh, built to have these not like someone came in and put a hundred grand into the basement yeah yeah super super and nice your basketball court again and lakeville itself is there's still like development going on but it has a bunch of stuff you know it has yeah. a, a, like the the one uh, I think I remember talking about this in the video. There's kind of two sides to Lakeville. There's like the the eastern edge, which is closer to Rosemont, a little closer to Apple Valley. There's a, a lot of stuff going on over there. And then closer to I-35, you have a sort of a different chunk, kind of like County Road 50, different chunk of commercial stuff, quite a lot of amenities as far as that goes, and just new builds out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. How many did you say were in this price range, new builds? When we were looking this up, uh, homes that were built 2020 or later, or you know more recent, uh, there was 105 active. 105, and like just in Lakeville. Yeah, new builds in Lakeville active right now. So for sure, if a new build is something you're after, I think Lakeville would probably be like one of the first places I think of as just being like, well, there's a ton of stuff down there. Absolutely, and super nice. Caveat to that is that they're going to be in this higher price point. Yeah, well, six hundred k plus, right? Maybe, yep. maybe five hundred k. If there's like a, a you can get one without a sport court if you yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a million to spend. I know we're talking about Lakeville, but Jesse and I were just shooting in Champlain the other day, and there was a lot of new builds up there too that I think would be more affordable. Patio homes, yeah, stuff like that, where you could probably still get high yeah. threes, mid fours, you know, just kind of that. For sure. Range. Anyway, yeah, yeah. talk about Lakeville. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think I think that's fair. That's fair to say. Again, we do have a virtual tour on this. Check it out. You can check out the uh, four fans of. And all that. What do you got, Steve? Okay, so for mine, uh, new build, we're going to Dayton, Minnesota, Dayton. which might not be uh, super familiar for some of the viewers of this video or this channel. Yeah, we don't um, have a tour on that or anything yet. Yeah, it's not super developed. Um, we'll it is, there. yeah, right north of Mabel Grove. Uh, so really nice area. One of the reasons I picked this house specifically, I do really like this builder. Uh, if you're interested in getting more information about them, uh, you can reach out to us, but, uh, Dayton, Minnesota, this builder has got, you know, one of their developments there, pretty similar, uh, new construction to the one Nick pick in Lakeville, but this one's right around 4,500 square feet. It's just under 800,000. Uh, it also has a sport court, but um, really, really nice finishes in this house. But yeah, layout's going to be very, very similar to what we just saw. You know, got the living room right off the kitchen. Um, a little bit more, I mean, in terms of character, you got the beams on the ceiling there, but the kitchen's very similar. And I think what you were talking, we were just talking about Champlin. Dayton is just west of Champlin. Mm -hmm. We're making and, our way up the north yeah. northwest yeah. metro, which is where a lot of this development is happening path on the of periphery progress. of the metro yeah. in all directions. For sure. This is very anyway. much the path of progress. And yeah, there are, uh, it, it's a, a maybe a little more like rural at this point or just yeah. like not quite Not quite yet. as developed yet. It's, 10 years from now though? Yeah. And with still, all the highway access we have here? And still relatively, you know, convenient. Relatively close to the city. It's not crazy. Half hour-ish. You could give easily go out for dinner in Minneapolis from Dayton. Yeah. For sure. And uh, Mississippi River borders the north end of Dayton. So that's cool. Yeah. Have a little bit of uh, 
Absolutely. Again, with the finished lower levels. Yeah, the yeah. basement's huge. Yeah, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure it's big enough. Uh, uh, another sport court for the basketball fans. Yeah. This one's a little smaller than Nick's, but really harder. slumming it in the sport court <laughs> situation. Uh, but yeah, that's that's cool. I like that you chose Dayton because it's. I think it's like we said this about Champlin in our video. It's a little bit slept on. Mm-hmm. Nobody's talking about it, but really good, like really great spot. Nice neighborhoods up yeah. there. Super super good stuff. All right, Alex, what do you got for new builds? So for new builds, I picked a home out in Lake Elmo. Uh, I hadn't really explored a lot of Lake Elmo until we had some clients interested out there yeah. who actually closed earlier this month on a new build townhome. But there are also a lot of uh, just new build single family neighborhoods out there as well. They're just going up like crazy. Uh, and we also did a virtual tour out there. Yeah, check that uh, out for sure. The the Lake Elmo itself, I thought was a really cool area. There are a lot of people walking around and beaches and uh, people fishing. But Anyway, this home, obviously new build, four bed, three bath. Uh, it's at 2,800 square feet. 660K. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 660K. A little bit more modest compared to the last two we just saw. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I just, Sweet I really like the Lake Elmo area because of its proximity to the cities. But it's also, I feel like when you get to the northeastern suburbs of the cities it kind of feels like you're further out than you really are like if you go 15 or 20 minutes out not even it feels like you're 30 or 40 minutes out so especially in that direction yeah yeah. more lakes up there yeah Yeah, even when you get into like still water and that whole area it's just uh it's so close to the cities for work uh but it's uh it, it feels like you're further out and uh, great schools out there as well. Yeah. A lot of you're going to be in Stillwater schools, mm-hmm. like almost entirely you, a lot of the amenities of like Elmo actually are Woodbury, you know, or Stillwater. There's, that's one thing we noticed when we did the video, there's like, there's hardly any commercial at all in Lake Elmo other than like the Lake Elmo mm-hmm. Inn and like this tiny downtown. Which could be a major draw for some folks. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. It, and and it's, cool you know, summer. obviously yeah. it's getting there. They're building and, and stuff's going to start to go in. But you're so, a lot of this, you're so close to Woodbury that it doesn't really mm-hmm. matter. You're like, oh, I'm not in my actual town shopping. Who cares? You're well, a lot so of, close to it. And I will say a lot of these new builds, like we said, are on the periphery of the metro. So something to keep in mind as well, you're not going to have the mature trees and the kind of established neighborhood feel that mm-hmm. some people are really after a little bit closer in. So something to keep in mind, you're getting a brand new updated house, land, all that stuff, but you are sacrificing something. Which is safe to be said about most uh, new build neighborhoods, yeah, exactly. especially totally. like when you're Southeast. But yeah, I think. I do think one thing that like the likes of Lake Elmo uh, is doing pretty well is keeping a little bit of like a wooded feel to some of the new Definitely. Build developments. Like they... They didn't just go like uh, scorched earth policy on the trees and like, okay, now let's just put houses up and plant trees. So in 20 years, they look, you know, mature. They left some of that forested uh, vibe and I super, super appreciate that. And actually that leads into my uh, new build choice pretty uh, effortlessly. My new build choice is in Stillwater. Uh, I'm a big fan of Stillwater. We have a virtual tour on Stillwater. Super cool spot. We're finding a lot of people are into it as well. Um, just into Stillwater. A lot of people from a, mm. out of state are a fan of Stillwater. And Damn. that color is sweet. So this specific house that I chose, again, I chose for builder. Um, kind of like Steve. I actually just, I think yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I, I looked at this house in person with some clients. Um, they've been you know, working with me to work with this builder. And I, I'm a big fan of this builder. Again, if you're interested, get a hold of us. We're happy to kind of like get things going with you. This is a super green house. Um, so for one, uh, 2,200 square feet, three bed, three bath, two car garage. Um, they use really, really like modern cool construction in the background. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And love the look. Yeah. It's so cool. It's got this modern, like oh. a Scandinavian, like minimalism. Is that a compost bin? Yeah. So cool. And, uh, they also have like rain catchment in the, in the front, a uh, little tiny deck on this one. Um, basically just walking that. down, um, super modern. Everything about it is. Like just, I just feel like it reminds me of like Scandinavian and they're using SIPs panels to be really, really, really efficient. There's basically no studs in their homes. So they said that the electrical bill on this house, oh, they also have 
uh, solar panels. The electrical bills on this house was like $19 a month, which is ridiculous. Wow. How many square feet? Uh, 2,200. Yeah. Um, and they're just really smart about that kind of stuff. He was talking about, you know, they chose eight foot ceilings in this particular house to have those really low things. You could go up to nine, it would increase your cost a little bit. They also have their foundations. They're using SIP panels for their foundations which helps keep the basement dry. He said, you know, a year or two in, like feel wise, a lot of the basements here, they feel a little uh, damper, a little cooler. Um, and when you, they use SIP panel foundations, that is basically eliminated entirely. And within a year or two of living there, as everything dries out, you cannot tell the difference between the basement and the uh, main floor and yeah super open concept kind of not an inch wasted 2200 square feet but just everything was just as big as it needed to be did you mention the price on this house this is sub 650 isn't it uh i think it's 25 and it's been on the market wow yeah. is this yeah. pending uh no 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 it's a new build this is a model oh this yeah is a model. Okay. um so a lot of this stuff you're gonna have to actually get built you know here's like the uh, owner suite not too big, right? Like nothing crazy, but like a walk-in bed, you know, walk-in closet with uh, like full systems where you wouldn't even need a dresser because it has it in there. Um, just big enough bathroom. It's like, you know, double sink, really smart builders here. And again, 625 for something like this is sweet. They also that's do sweet. some like luxury stuff. That's insane. Um, but yeah, big fan of this builder and kind of what they're doing. And the barn door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the barn door that goes into the, what they call the fitness room. Super cool spot. But then beyond this builder, they build other places too. But they definitely have a focus in this area. But I love Stillwater. I'm just a fan of Stillwater. Uh, Stillwater is kind of a one of a kind. A little bit of a gem. There's not much like it. It's got the really great old school downtown. So sick. Super <laughs> wooded. Again, yeah, they, you know, they're weaving some of these trees up. Sure. Obviously, the, the front yard, no trees really. but Solar the, panels on the Roof yeah there. yeah and just uh big fan of stillwater maybe doesn't have all of the or maybe you know some of stillwater can feel a little bit far apart that's maybe one thing one kind of negative it's a little far away from the metro maybe 40 minutes from downtown minneapolis something like that but i don't know to me it'd be worth it i'd live there i'd live in this in stillwater in a heartbeat and i wouldn't mind the 40 minute drive oh, at all seeing something come those pine yeah. trees come up too that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're exactly. smart about about all the building, but they don't want this to be too tall because they don't want to block the uh, solar panels. Pretty interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, that's the new build. We're gonna hop into Dream Spot. I don't even remember what my Dream Spot is. Probably pretty absurd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Mine's pretty much absurd. just for fun. Yeah, these are all pretty absurd to be honest. This is what I called my dream house. There's no inside picture, so it's not that fun. But it's all renderings. Um, just a, just a cool 3.5 million, <laughs> uh, 0.75 acres. It's on Lake Minnetonka, uh, West Tonka school district, five bedroom, four bath, three stall garage, three car garage. I don't know why I say that all the time. Um, as you can tell, I'm sort of into this like modern, it reminds me of like modern Scandinavian, Scandinavian farmhouse, something like that. Big fan. It's on the lake. Wow. Just got a little pool back there. Got a couple, deck off the, uh... couple of decks, all the windows. I just love this kind of thing. And then what city is, is this in, Jesse? This is in Minatrista. And uh, it's like, it's on basically a peninsula, like that's just kind of like surrounded by parts of Minnetonka. Is this on the lake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got that lakefront. Uh, it was built on my birthday, apparently. Yeah. I would have, I would have no problem. Uh, it was on my birthday. <laughs> Living in something like that, I don't think I would struggle. I would not all. argue. Yeah, <laughs> one negative would be to get from that house out of that area <laughs> would be a little bit of a pain yeah. in the butt, especially, especially in the, in the winter. winter. God, you'd yeah. also probably need another Roomba or two. Oh. <laughs> you need a you need an arsenal of Roombas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just mm -hmm. Caretaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken, where are you? <laughs> yeah, chicken would get lost in this house. For real. All right, uh, Alex, what do you got on yours? So this one is located in YZ. Uh, I'm from that area, so I figured I might as well pick a dream home there. This one's listed at 2.8 million. And uh, I've actually seen this one in person. My buddy, so this, this house is located right next to Gray's Bay. If you're familiar with Lake Minnetonka, my buddy's grandfather has a boat 
uh, docked there. So we actually walk by this house all the time. Uh, when we go down to the lake, we call it the dojo house just because uh, the outside kind of gives off that kind of aesthetic. Mm, I can see that. Uh, so, yeah, I just, this this house is crazy. I've always wanted to see what the inside looks like. And, uh, yep, we walk to the left of that marsh. It's, it's crazy. It's, yeah, it's small. It's real compact. <laughs> it's very, yeah, there's, uh, there's not a lot you can do with it. It's sweet. I mean, so, obviously, YZ, mm -hmm. right? You grew up there. Yeah, and, I mean... Yeah, it's like probably this one to get to downtown Wayzata, it's probably a little bit more of like a five minute drive uh, just because of where it is. But I mean, Jeez, yeah, wow. it, that's hard to beat. And especially with the lake being right there. Yeah, yeah it's just walking distance down there. So your taxes are not going to be very high on this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I think if you're worried about taxes, this is not the house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're worried about taxes, any dream house probably is yeah, off probably. the also, the electric bills might differ between yours and Jesse's. It's just yeah, where a little bit. Kill Bill was off. Of? Yeah, that's, yeah that, cool. that's what I'm saying. The Asian look to <laughs> that's it. super cool. So, yeah. And, and they have this. Dr. Strange to come flying out of there. Yeah. <laughs> they have this sweet wooden dock going all the way down. And yeah. at night, it's really cool. They have these little lights that come up. And it's beautiful. It's super cool. Yeah. And YZ in general, awesome schools. Uh, it's like a really quaint little community. It reminds me of like a east coast mm -hmm. you know like coastal community mm -hmm. um, lots of nantucket style yeah shake shingles super you know. cool but then just a lot of like uh, insane houses yeah as well. they, have, <laughs> as well. they have some crazy condos down there and i was down there a couple weekends ago and they just had a live music performance out in this uh big pavilion i Love didn't it. even realize they did stuff like that Love it. we also we have a virtual tour of yz i think it was the first one you did right? yep yeah so yz super cool a lot of people want to live there it's just desirable yeah um yeah minnetonka but still you, you're on minnetonka but you're still one of the further east places that are in yeah minnetonka. a little also, easier access to the cities yeah we also did a, a video called like the towns of tonka check mm -hmm. that one out that one just came out where we're just kind of talking about all these different communities around Minnetonka. So many cities touch the lake. Yeah, there's kind of mm. no, it, it, it doesn't surprise me that a bunch of the places that we chose as dream houses are around Minnetonka. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's kind of what that it's place is. kind of the is. crown jewel of the, the Twin Cities. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Speaking of which, I actually chose Minnetonka proper. So again, a theme with our dream houses, Lake Minnetonka. This house is located in Minnetonka, uh, the city of Minnetonka. But yeah, we're going mid-century fixer-upper again for me, just under a million, so nothing wild. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my thought was, you know, if I had an unlimited budget, I could, you know, make this however I wanted to. And it's this has got, a, this is a pretty cool canvas to be to start with. So yeah, it'd be uh, hard to build this now. Nah. Correct. <laughs> It'd be yeah. very difficult. You'd be in more than a million. Yeah. For sure. Um, so yeah, it's over 5,000 square feet, built in 1970, uh, five bed, five bath. But yeah, just like Point six acres. super cool look to it. Um, yeah. Yeah, mid-century. Love the double As door. much as you want. Really cool. But again, Minnetonka, it's all about the lake. You know, again, it's a little bit, Let this property is a little bit easier access than the one Jesse picked. So... Yeah, you know, you're not driving miles. 15 minutes just to get out of, you know, the, yeah. the little town that you mm -hmm. live in. Absolutely. A little bit quicker. Uh, I would update the kitchen on this house, but. <laughs> yeah, but it but could still, be, God, it could be amazing. It could be really cool. And the rest of it, I mean, there's just tons of character. Yeah. The money wooded would be area. most well spent in the kitchen because the rest of the house is. Yeah, I mean, not it's super offensive. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. No, it's, it's super, kind of charming. It's got some, I mean, wallpaper. this, yeah, wallpapers. Hey wallpapers making a comeback. The tile is dope. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> but wait, I'm I'm getting to something good here. You got to get through a lot of pictures, but dang, it's only 5,400 square feet to get through. We can yeah. cut this out. Okay. Okay. This cool is staircase. really cool staircase going yeah, downstairs. Sweet. It looks like it belongs in like a. There's almost like a courtyard running through the center of the yeah. hall. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like all the way to the top. Okay. I love how they just have congas down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got an indoor oh, swimming pool. Oh, come on. Indoor swimming pool. And sauna, sauna, of course. sign me up. But yeah. Where do I sign? Uh, yeah, that's super cool. My dream home is in Greenwood, which borders Excelsior, also on Lake Minnetonka. It's quite close, actually three to five minute drive from downtown Excelsior, which kind of has that Stillwater feel, Rivertown, old brick buildings, historical yeah. society. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. an amazing area, but it's in Greenwood is the actual name of the city. This thing is just spectacular. It's like it was picked up from Beverly Hills and dropped off in Minnesota, right on the lake. Um, four bed, four bath, three stall garage. You've got about 4,900 uh, finished square feet, 
pretty low tax bill there, uh, 44,000 <laughs> oh a year. <laughs> yeah, 0.56 acres. Did you mention this house is over 4 million? This house is over 4 million. <laughs> like you see, 4.19. But I think uh, when we go through some of the photos here, it'll be worth every penny. It's a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> It's spectacular. This this specific location overlooks Excelsior Bay, and you would be able to see the fireworks show. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's just unreal. That's awesome. Yeah, it's is. it's modern as far as the style, but you've got the stone. I mean, you can see the antlers there. It's definitely got the Minnesota touch on it. You can just see mm -hmm. it does not get better. That is. Crazy. I mean, come on. You get what I'm saying with the Beverly Hills? Yeah, I'm about. It's this. only missing an infinity pool. Let me just go back to this real yeah. quick. This floats. And when you actually see this in person, wow. yeah, it's cantilever, cantilevered over. That's so it's sick. just this amazing geometric, like, pyramid shape. It's spectacular. Just keep, yeah, just keep scrolling through. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. Beautiful material. I mean, obviously. This is truly, like, my taste as well. Yeah. I like the modern, but soften it up with some of the woods and the stones. Clean lines. Nicely furnished. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Uh, oh, that's a cool picture. That's awesome. And it's even got an SG hanging on the wall. Hey, love that kitchen. Look at that. Come that on. Is cool. that like a live edge bar top? Come yeah. on. Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, it's all about the views too, right? Like, yeah, the, absolutely. The, I wonder how long these people waited for this lot, you know, oh, to build this house. Yeah. Or just showed up with a check and we're like, what's the, what's the price? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Come you on. Your, your Theater room with a wet bar. Yeah. I, I always love that. Game. Got the, <laughs> got the Parisi jersey in the back. Yeah. Let's go. Is this like a Minnesota thing? Yeah. Uh, they probably have yeah. other places, but yeah. Cool. Super, super cool spot. We, uh, let's hop out of this. Thank you very much for watching this video. That was a lot of fun, actually. Thank it was. That was super fun. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's 200 suburbs here, I think, something like that. It's it's endless. And uh, so county metro? it was a little bit different in the 11 county metro. It was a little bit di difficult to just like kind of zero in all, all these things, but it was super fun. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about, you know, moving here, if you're interested in any of these spots or just ultimately, if you're thinking about moving here, this isn't gospel. It depends on what's available. There's tons of other stuff available. So just get a hold of us however you can. Call or text the number on the screen. Email us at info at twincities.com. Go to our website, twincities.com. Fill out a contact form there. You can follow us on Instagram uh, if you want. If you don't want to reach out right away, Instagram is to the Twin Cities at to the Twin Cities. And yeah, we appreciate y'all watching this very much. It was fun. Hope it was uh, educational or entertaining and not too... A little bit of both, maybe. Too <laughs> grody. Yeah. But yeah. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching this. Also, shout out to these dudes for killing it. Bye, guys.